Rebels, welcome to your Level Up Challenge here on Tap Into Your Magic. My name is Heather and I'm so excited to be bringing you this free five day challenge. So what even is it about? For five days, we are working on strength, flexibility and cardio and just taking our yoga practice to the next level. So you'll see I have some things here. If you don't have them, don't worry. But if you do have them lying around, if you've got a pair of ankle weights, maybe they've been hidden away for years, I don't know, or, and, and or a band. So it could be anything like a resistance band, doesn't matter what level it is, but these are gonna help you. So for, a, for all these days, we're gonna be using some or all of these. And each day we're focusing on a different part of the body. So today is day one, we're focusing on lower body. So we're really gonna be strengthening our glutes, our legs. So it's a mix of yoga with a little bit of Pilates inspired. And some of the days we're gonna be introducing cardio as well. So there's gonna be burning, but it's gonna be fun because this is your level up challenge so if you're ready hit that thumbs up button and let's go if you haven't got your ankle weights on please pop them on for this day we're gonna start off nice and calm in child's pose so bring your legs as wide as feels comfortable for you straighten your arms down and drop your forehead to the mat just taking some deep breaths in and out through your nose Your breath is going to be really important over these next five days as we're pushing ourselves further than we're used to. Especially on my channel, these are going to be a lot more like my ankle weights yoga, which are quite hard, to be honest. So prepare your mind, prepare your body. And I'd like you to set your intention for today's practice. What is it? that you'd like to get out of it. Why are you here on the mat today? So whether you wanna improve your strength, you wanna try something new, these are beautiful intentions. And let's roll up into tabletop pose, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, push the shoulders back. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Just a few more times to warm up the spine. We'll start each day with a warm up. Let's keep moving through cat and cow. And then come back into your tabletop pose. And let's set up for our first booty burn. Engage your core and kick your right leg up to the sky and just hold it there. So it's like you've got your foot flexed and all you're going to do is bring your leg down and then kick it back up. So we're gonna do that eight times, let's go. Kick to the sky, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and hold it at the top and eight kicks up to the sky like you're kicking the ceiling one two three four five six seven eight and hold and we'll do some leg circles from here so eight times in a circle kick back and so draw the circle we're on three it's quite quick these practices so keep going with that circle seven eight and draw the circle in the other direction so moving the circle the other way remember to breathe <laughs> six seven eight kick the leg up and straighten the leg out and drop the foot down to the mat but we're going to kick it back up for eight times straight eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there for eight counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. You might just want to shake your hips out for a 
a little bit, maybe you wanna drop your hips down to your heels. You'll definitely start to feel a burn in the booty. Back into tabletop pose, switching to the other side. This time, kick your left leg up to the sky, foot flexed, and we'll drop it down and up for eight times. So bring the leg down and up. Two, three, core engaged. Four, five, seven, eight. Hold at the top and kick up to the ceiling eight times like you're trying to bash the ceiling in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Begin to draw some circles now. So draw the circle in whatever way you want to do because we'll switch to the other side. We're on three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Draw the circle the other way around. Eight, seven, six. Try not to shift your hips too much. Eight, and kick your leg back up to the sky. Straighten it, drop the leg down, up and down eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it eight times, eight, seven, six, two, one. And release, drop back into a quick child's pose. Whether you had ankle weights on or not, that was definitely going to burn. And then push up into your first downward facing dog, shoulders away from the ears, and then one knee, and then the other. So these practices are very quick. I don't want to take up too much of your time. So really got to make the most of the time here on the mat. So inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky, bring it in and come into a high lunge. Both arms will reach up towards the sky and we'll drop the knee down and up eight times. Left knee down and up, two, one, two, quite quickly, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then drop the knee down, but without touching the mat. So it's like a deep bend. And we can bring your hands into your prayer position here. And we'll just do up and down eight times at this position. So it's quite a small position. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one back into that high lunge. Bring your left foot to the top of the mat. Sink low for chair pose. So make sure when you look down that you can see your toes. And we'll do eight squats here. So you'll come up, straighten the legs and squat down into chair eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold, hold here. And all you're gonna do is bring your right leg behind you now. So you're back into the high lunge, bringing both arms up to the sky and we'll drop the knee down and up eight times. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, so you're doing amazing, one, and then hold sort of halfway so you've still got a bend in your right knee, hands into prayer position and eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten it, step to the top of the mat, chair pose and hold. Make sure you can see your toes, core engaged. Eight squats, up and down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here for eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And start to sink the, the hips lower and lower until your booty touches the mat. And if you have your band, Grab it now, because we'll need it for this last burnout. So I'm gonna place it just on where your thigh area is, above the knees. The tighter it is, the harder this is gonna be. And we're all gonna roll down to the mat. 
setting up for bridge pose. So feet shoulder hip width apart, press your spine into the mat, push into your heels and tuck the tailbone as you lift your glutes up to the sky. And already you might feel the resistance of the band here. We're gonna go up and down eight times. So drop the booty down to the mat and lift up. One, two, three. Keep pushing into the band. Six, seven, eight. Hold at the top pulses. That just means heart like a slight down and slight up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold again. I'm going to push out with the band. So you're going to open up your legs and bring them back together eight times. Eight, seven, six, five. We keep squeezing the booty. Three, two. And we're going to repeat all that we've just done one more time. So all the way down, all the way up. You got this eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze the booty. Eight pulses, little ones. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open and close eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold. Keep squeezing. And then lower down. Then you can bring your knees in towards your chest and just rock on the spine side to side. And if you had the booty band, you can take it off now. And we'll stretch out from here. So bring your right knee, or, sorry, left knee in towards you. And you can straighten out the right leg. And hold here. Coming back to your breath. Like I said, these are quick burns on this five day challenge. So minimal time, but maximum level up. <laughs> and switch sides, right knee in towards you, left leg can be straight. So each day we're gonna be focusing on a different part of the body, although there'll be a couple of days where we do full body. So we'll be basically doing what we've done today and on these, all those days. So you're gonna be repeating a lot of things so you can really get to understand that movement and it becomes easier each time you do it. And then straighten that leg out. And we'll just take a quick Shavasana from here. Just allow yourself to sink down into the mat, releasing any tension in your body. Coming back to your intention, you can reflect on that for the next minute or so here in Shavasana. Well-deserved Shavasana.
and begin to come back to your breath, your present moments, your body, moving fingers and toes, taking all the stretches you need to wake back up. Whenever you're ready, find yourself in your seat position, however you get there. Let's bring our arms out beside you. Bring your arms up into prayer position, hands in front of your heart. And we bow forward. Namaste. Congratulations on completing day one of this yoga level up challenge. I told you it's not gonna be easy, but if you're really looking for something to push you out of your comfort zone, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, this is the five day challenge for you. So tomorrow we're gonna be focusing on abs. So you're gonna feel a nice solar plexus burn and I'll see you there. And also, how could I forget? We have an EFT tabbing. I've, I would never do a challenge without EFT as well. So it is a five minute positive affirmations related to feeling strong and capable. So it's a really big confidence boost to really complement this challenge. So check it out on the screen here. Enjoy, tap along and I'll see you for day two tomorrow.